In short series of three videos, we're going to be checking at teaming a materialized card in Drupal 8. In this video, we're going to start and check what are we going to build. We're going to have prepared Drupal instance with the Vel module and the profiler module activated and team debug activated. We're going to quickly create some content. We're going to declare and enable our team and we're going to create the view with the cards. So here we have a Drupal instance that is installed and prepared. We also have the web profiler module activated and we have also the team debug activated so that we see from where our templates are coming. Let's go ahead and check what are we going to build. On materialize.com, if we go under components and cards, we see a very nice setup of cards. So we're going to create a view listing some content of ours on our Drupal page, and we're going to make it look something like that. So let's jump to our Drupal instance and let's start with creating some content. That's perfect. So we have three articles created. Let's go ahead and create a new view and list those articles. From the example here, we're gonna see what we need for our list. So we would need a image, we would need the title, we would need the body and a link that says, this is a link. Let's just make it the same. So if we go under structure, and views we're going to create a new view and call it list of cards perfect it would be showing content of type article let's create a page list of cards that's perfect And let's switch to show content to show fields and profile and and provide default field wrappers disabled. Under settings, we may also disable at views row classes. And for the title, we may say it should not be a link. And these styles. I always like to remove so that we keep it as clean as possible. So let's go ahead and add also the image field. Let's just use this image style and for the settings remove those things. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add also the body. There it is. For the body, we're going to say summary or trimmed and 600 characters looks okay. We can disable this, this one here for adding default classes because we don't need any classes. And the last thing we want to add is a link to content so this body here and we're going to name it this is a link so that it looks exactly the same 
we're going to remove the default classes again and apply looks pretty good so now we have the content that we're going to be implementing the markup of in the next video so we have the title we have the image we have the body and we have the link here the next thing we want to do is we want to declare our custom team and activate it so let's jump to our code base so this is my favorite text editor command shift and o and i'm going to be opening the code base of the Drupal instance that is installed there and under teams we're going to create a new folder call it custom and under custom we're going to create a new folder and call it Drupal up it's perfect and in Drupal up we're going to create a new file and call it Drupal up dot info dot yaml it's perfect and here we say name drupal up description our custom team with materialize cards and type it's a team and core it's a dot x that's perfect let's go ahead and enable the just created team so it should appear here there it is drupal up install and set as default yeah perfect so we're ready with the first part in the next video we're going to be declaring the custom library in which we're going to be putting the materialized CSS and JavaScript files and we're going to be implementing the markup of the cards so that they appear and look just like the materialized cards from the materialized.com website perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description like the video subscribe if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below thanks for watching